Once the locations are finalized in the Gram Sabha, we can proceed to draw the activity on the platform. For example, as we have focused on this area and analyzed it, we now want to draw the Bund in this area. To do this, we'll use the Draw or Edit Line tool. Clicking on this tool allows us to start drawing the Bund on the map. We can now start placing the buns in the desired locations. As we draw, the platform provides us with the length of each bun segment. For instance, we can draw the first bun here, and the platform shows its length. Similarly, we can draw a second bun here, and again, the length is displayed. We can continue adding buns as needed, adjusting their placement and length as required. For example, this bund is 60 meters. Next, we have drawn and divided two bunds, one with a length of 37 meters and another with 47 meters. As you can see, the platform allows us to draw multiple bund segments, providing flexibility in designing the layout of the activity. Once we have finished drawing the bunds, we click on the Finish button to complete the drawing process. The platform then prompts us to name the drawn activity. For example, we can name this set of buns as Buns 1 and 2. It is important to name all the drawn activities appropriately for easy identification and management. After naming the buns, we can click on the Save Draft button. You must enter a sub-plan name. The platform will then confirm that the sub-plan name has been saved successfully. If we want to check if any previous geotag data exists for this area, we can click on the Previous Geotag Data option. The process of drawing activities is similar for other types of interventions as well. Let's see another example. We can see that this area has some erosion as identified earlier. Let's confirm this by clicking on the Erosion Map. As you can see, sheet erosion is present in this area. To address this, we can plan a block plantation. To draw the block plantation area, we need to use the Draw or Edit Polygon tool. We'll now draw a polygon to define the boundaries of the block plantation. It's generally recommended to draw polygons in an anti-clockwise direction. Once we've finished drawing the polygon to cover the desired area, we click on the Finish button. The platform will then prompt us to name this activity. We can name it something like Block Plantation. To save this drawn activity, we click on the Save Draft button. Next, let's learn about non-GAW activities.